name is Venkat Subramanyam. One of the talks I'm giving in 2013 is Paradigms of Programming, Developing a Taste for Language Flavors. Well, most of us have been programming in object-oriented systems and object-oriented paradigm for quite a while, and all of a sudden we are getting excited about functional style of programming. Well, functional style of programming has been around for such a long time, and only now we are getting excited. But there are other flavors as well. Like, for example, we have seen procedural programming in the past, there's also the other concepts and other ways of programming. Now, what are the different flavors? What about logic programming? Are we even getting excited about it? Is that the future? Well, the first question, of course, is why should I care about these language flavors? Well, certainly a lot of us don't have the ability or the luxury to switch languages and then start programming in other languages. So should we just ignore it? Well, the answer is no, because learning a different paradigm helps us actually to think differently. And we can actually make use of them in the languages we program predominantly. So if you're interested in ex extending your skills and maybe adopting to certain different flavors, maybe you want to start using some of the design options that are not common in the language you're programming, but you can start learning from other ways of doing things and maybe design things for better. So this session is going to expose you to different language paradigms. We will try to take a look at different examples, but we'll certainly relate back to Java and see how maybe we can change the way we write code in Java using some of these techniques. And especially with, of course, Java not only supporting option or paradigm, but also having functional style, we are about halfway through already. So it's a question of just figuring out what other things are there and how we could benefit it. So if you're interested in uh, paradigms of programming and practically how to use it in a day-to-day -day programming, come to this session and we'll talk about it. Thanks.